Well, that sucks. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another uh, Marvel Snap video. I finally got Electro, which is awesome. Uh, and so this is kind of the first like good idea I've seen with Electro. Uh, Dexter actually posted like another Wong Electro deck today, which is kind of unfortunate. I'm not trying to like ride his coattails or anything. Uh, but I got Electro in my shop last night and I was like thinking about what video to do. So I did ongoing Sandman for a little bit, which was kind of bad. It was like, okay. But if I'm being honest with you, I think Sandman is kind of worse from the nerfs, or at least it's very different. I don't think you can build like a Sandman deck before that's at least like competitive at higher ranks. Uh, I think Sandman's now just more of a tech card where he like shuts down some strategies, but I don't think like a Sandman deck really works anymore when you get him so much slower. Uh, but Electro's awesome. Electro's a really cool card. As you guys know, I don't really snap uh, once I hit infinite, at least if you watch a lot of my videos, you know, I just like, I like to play out the games because it's better for footage. Uh, but like, you have a lot of good snap equity here. I mean, you have like, you know when you're going to do strong stuff and you know when you're just going to play one, two, three, four, five. Like when you actually get to ramp and do the song stuff, it looks really good. I really tried to make Vision work. I really want a cool Vision deck because I think Vision's an interesting card. But I think White Tiger's just so much better, especially if you're going for Wong. Um, so, and this is kind of what I what I got here. So you have Ebony Maw. Ebony Maw is not really have a downside when you have Doctor Doom and White Tiger and stuff like that. So it's really just a strong one drop. Sunspot's amazing when you end up floating a bunch of mana. Electro, you need Electro, unreplaceable. Uh, Wave kind of lets you keep the big ramp stuff you have if your uh, opponent's uh like well like even if you if your opponents do something like you can still just like if you have six drops in your hand you can just play a six drop now right you can just play one of your big stuff so you can like wave into leech or wave into doctor doom and then odin the following turn it lets you it lets you cheat out some pretty crazy stuff uh jubilee hits a lot of big stuff jubilee just makes a lot of sense here wong to kind of double up the white tiger and double up the doctor doom double up the odin even and then you got arrow so you can go like if you're winning both lanes you can actually just go Wong into Arrow to pull their stuff, into Odin to pull their stuff again, and they, like, they're like they kind of just locked out of the game, which is hilarious. Uh, and so I think the deck's pretty good, and this is my favorite Electro shell so far. I'm trying to keep the video shorter just to see how that does on the algorithm, uh, so that's going to do it for the deck tech. Uh, I also got Quinjet in my shop this morning, so I got Electro and Quinjet, which were the two cards I were waiting for back-to-back. -back. So now that I have Quinjet, there's going to be a Quinjet video tomorrow, probably, uh, but I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope to see you all back tomorrow for another Marvel Snap video. So we want to lose here, so this is a great spot to play Electro. That's about really good here. So we can Electro and then Viper the Electro across to them. Cosmo, okay. I think it's pretty likely that they let us keep this. I think I Wong here and just set up for the future. Because I think it's very likely they actually let us keep this. Mm -hmm. But so now, what we can do is we can Viper this across. Go Viper, bump this, and then we get another four here. And I think they only play one card a turn next turn. Nice. So now the She-Hulk they were setting up just uh, can't win, right? Now they're dead. So we play this here. And so She-Hulk just doesn't do it. So there's no configuration where they win. And we just need to beat Arrow then. So this beats Arrow. We go plus three here, winning here. Yeah, look at that. That was dirty, dude. That was absolutely dirty. Ah, oh, that was cool.
Um, I guess I will Electro here. I don't think it makes a difference either way, really. So, I mean, we can go Wong here. Or here. And then double Spectrum. I think Wong here makes the most sense. Uh, I mean, this is just most of the time better, honestly. I guess this is good if I draw Doom, and then I can just still do the same thing next turn, so I guess this is fine. So that's a good amount of power still. And then this is good if I draw Doom Bots. That's fine. Yep. Uh, so I play this here and I get 6 here, so I'm at 12. The actual Electro package is kind of just better than the Sandman package. I feel like I'm just switching it. I feel like I gotta switch. I feel like I feel like Electro is actually somehow like not as good as just like playing an actual like ramp deck with Electro. So I'm thinking it's another Darkhawk list. We're pretty good into Darkhawk because of uh, everything we got going on. Uh, Ebony Maw here is great. And then we get to Electro, which is good. Electro into Leech, I'm pretty happy about. Uh, we just really got to shut off their thing here. Not playing there at all. Doom is great as well. I really like Electro. It's a cool card. Very neat card. Alright, no Darkhawk. That might be Darkhawk. It could be Darkhawk. Uh, but Leech is, like, really good against them, right? Go Leech, Doom, Odin, and it's all secret? That actually seems really, really strong. So we Leech their hand, which is always good. And so now I get to go Doom into Odin. And so this is going to be 12 plus 8. So this is 20 here. We add 10 here, and we add 10 here. And we obviously just leech their hand, which seemed really good. Quite good. See how it plays out, though. Could be a bunch of stuff. Put another card here. Give us the Widow's Bite, which doesn't really matter. I think this is very likely to be uh, a Darkhawk, actually. But I think we beat Darkhawk by doing this. We're at five cards in our deck. So that means Darkhawk is 0 plus... So it's 20. So if they have Darkhawk Mystique here, they're at 20. But they need to have drawn both without the Leech. Which I, I don't know if that's likely, honestly. Arrow? Okay. Shang-Chi. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Nice and clean. Cheating the uh, Ebony Maw's downside was great. We almost won this, too. This is actually really close. Um, so Ebony Maw, Ebony Maw here, I can go Doctor Doom and draw Odin still. Get here, Mojo World. 
So wave here makes sense. Uh, then we can either... So then we can Doctor Doom. Draw Odin, we can still Doctor Doom. We can also Magneto. I think I'm just Doctor Dooming. I don't think I'm risking anything else. I think this makes a lot of sense. Damn. So I'm winning here. Uh, they can move the Nightcrawler. But Leech seems really good. So I can Leech here. And then I can Magneto Middle. Right? And we can't... I mean, Odin isn't that good anymore, but I think this is fine. Oh, they also just full dump here. Spider-Man. Okay, so we solved that problem. And then Sunspot. So the Sunspot's gonna grow. Uh, but we can go Magneto here. Their Nightcrawler can move here. Uh, but if I pull the Spider-Man out of here and they don't fill up here, then I'm winning Mojo World, which would be great for Tiebreaker. So I think this is fine. They also just got Leech, so I don't think they can do anything too scary. Okay, so that's that. Captain Marvel. Hmm. Interesting, okay. I mean, Leech just like really strong there, right? Just like. Good spot for our boy Sunspot here. Just run his game with. So, Wong into Arrow into Doctor Doom. Or Odin. Both are options here. I guess just Wong, Arrow, Odin isn't that bad, honestly. Uh, okay. So, I do get to Arrow here. I'm winning this. I'm expecting Spectrum, I guess, is the question. This looks like a Spectrum deck. What's up? No. Awesome. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. So I can actually pull the Cosmo, and then I think that beats them probably, right? Pull the Cosmo, and then if they Spectrum, they lose? Because the Spectrum just loses here, right? So I think this is actually Checkmate. Okay, please be Spectrum. Please let me do it to him. Gamora, but same idea, same idea. Shuts down anything they were trying to do here. Win these two lanes. Nice, very nice. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my Marvel Snap video. I'm currently making a Marvel Snap video every day, so if you do enjoy, uh, please consider liking and subscribing. It does help me out a lot. Um, I also stream live at twitch.tv slash homeboymaxwell. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you tomorrow for my next video. Have a great day.